Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Austin from Midwest Mics. Uh, it's May 22nd. This is the show Quick Bets. Uh, quick Bets, so we uh, give you a couple bets for the day. A little short, fast show, one to five minutes. A couple thoughts about what's going on uh, around sports. And that's what we're going to do today. Yesterday sucked the game. We went 0 2. Uh, but we're going to bounce back today with a 2 0 day. Uh, Gary's pick's going to go Rangers money line. And then I'm going to go Boston plus eight, the Celtics, against the overrated Brooklyn Nets. Um, Boston's, they're on a hot streak. So get ready. Jason Tatum's going to score 100 points tonight. It's going to be big time. We're going Boston plus eight. You know what? We don't even need them to win. It's just, hey, don't lose by a billion and we're okay right there. So uh, Boston plus eight, Rangers money line. Other news we got to see, uh, which is kind of goofy, um, but we got to see Timmy Tebow. Uh, kind of live, walk into the practice facility now that he's a member, officially a member of the Jacksonville Jaguars, got the uh, contract signed. I think it's, I mean, I think it's, it's got to be league minimum what he's making. They're not even sure he's going to make the team, but well, he looked a little bigger out there though now. He put on some size. He looks good. Um, I actually am rooting for him. There's a lot of people that are not because they think, he, you know, he's taking up some other guy's spot. But my thing is this, um, those other guys that, the spot he's taken or whatever, they don't sell tickets. They don't, they don't. Who knows who they are? They don't sell tickets like that. And so he's coming in as a business move to sell tickets um, to finally sell out because Jacksonville's been like notorious for not being able to sell out their stadium. So you bring a guy like Tebow in. Tebow sells some tickets, and you know they they just they start making some money. He ends up being in the top five. I think top five jersey sales yesterday. Uh, I think two days in a row or yesterday, whatever. So he's selling jerseys. Jacksonville gets some of that. The NFL gets a piece of that. Tebow, I don't know if Tebow gets a piece of that. I think he does. Whatever. This dude is selling jerseys. He's selling merchandise. And all of a sudden now everyone's like, whoa, we're talking about Jacksonville again. Especially when they get the number one draft pick with, uh, with Lawrence. And now you got Tebow going to him. I mean, if Lawrence throws this dude Tebow a touchdown, we're talking ESPN the next whole week, even if they lost 40-7. to seven. ESPN, all they're going to be doing is talking about Timmy Tebow and Lawrence and all those other guys out down there. Now, the thing about it is this, that division sucks. It stinks. So, really, which is really crazy, Jacksonville could make the playoffs. They could win that division with eight wins. Eight and nine, I think, wins that division. Because, really, we're, uh, Colts are really banking on what Carson Wentz can do. And he might have a bounce back year. We'll see. Uh, but they're kind of betting on him. Houston sucks. Their season's going in the toilet. No one's really heard from Deshaun Watson. And then Tennessee lost a billion guys. They lost three of their corners. They lost their OC. I think they lost an alignment. They lost, a, I think, their tight ends. Patriots got the one guy. The other guys are leaving. They still do have A.J. Brown. He's a baller. But at the same time, I'm like, dang, can you lose that much on defense and still be good? I mean, so, I mean, we're going to do an NFL prediction show at some point. But I think right now, what I'm the only thing I'm saying is this. I'm thinking Jacksonville could win that division. Or whoever is in that division can win that division with eight wins. Because I think it's going to be – I think that division is going to be what the NFC East was last year. Even though the NFC East is still sucks too, AFC South is going to be the most trash division we got in football next year. So that's my take on that. But good for Jacksonville. Get the jersey sales up. Tebow coming up. We'll see what happens. The guy's 33. Who knows? Once again, the picks for the day are Rangers money line. Boston plus eight. We're rooting for Boston tonight. Let's go Celtics. Come on, guys. Let's let's uh, go ahead and just get Durant out in the first round. That'd be really really fun. The show is brought to you by DJ Showtime, DJ KC Showtime on Instagram, weddings, birthdays, all the good stuff. He's the man. Another thing about today is too May twenty second. Me and Gary's birthday parties at the Red Balloon tonight. We'll be there starting at seven o'clock. We'll be all there all the way to close. Come look us up. You want? I mean, I'd be, I'd be encourage you guys to buy me or Gary a shot or two if you want to. I mean, I don't know. It, it's okay. You can come say hi too. Either way, that's fine. So, this has been quick bets for the day. I'm signing off. Everybody have a good day. Let's make some money.